The chief executive officer of the World Travel and Tourism Council is bullish about the sector's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, and expects exponential growth over the next decade, mainly thanks to a boost from Chinese outbound travelers and foreign visitors to China. All I wanted to say how, how delighted I am that China is opening up to the world. It's so important for us. Around the world to be able to visit China. I myself have been there many times. I love the country and the people, and it's wonderful for the world to be able to open its arms and welcome Chinese visitors. So that's just such great news. Now we all know that our sector was severely、um, damaged by、um, the COVID、uh, pandemic, but the good news is that、uh, travel and tourism is going to be bouncing back. And it will be growing over the next ten years. China has recently been optimizing its COVID-19 response, and from January 8th, the country has eased restrictions on international passenger flights. Outbound tourism. What we tend to see is when people reopen their borders post the pandemic, you have a lot of pent-up demand for travel. Um, in terms of the value of、uh, Chinese being outbound visitors into、uh, the rest of the world, you know they were, if you like, the most valuable in many senses, but also in economic senses, visitors to the rest of the world.、Um, and when it comes to、um, visitors、uh, from outside China coming into China to visit China,、um, and you will see that rebounding very, very strongly. Simpson also said that travel restrictions imposed by some countries on Chinese tourists should be stopped. I have to say, at WTTC, we really do believe in the advice of the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, that really this virus now is endemic, and our organization is very much arguing to stop all restrictions.